all the dignitaries as well as all the participants first of all i pankaj kumar misra the resource person of today's in house training welcome you all in this in house training organized by oriental public school today i am going to take your session on topic working with learning disabilities as you know this is very important for we teachers to know about the students because many of the students in the classroom have different types of learning disabilities until unless we are not able to identify those students means we cannot make our class effective because learning and acquisition will not happen properly if you are not able to identify the student so this learning and disabilities about the types of disabilities have been suggested by many psychologists and today we are going to discuss few of them so first of all we will know what is learning disabilities as you know learning disability is a kind of disorders or problems that hindered the academic activity which is going on in the classroom so learning disabilities initially called ld refers to a group of disorders that affect a broad range of academic and functional skills including the ability to it means disorder learning disorders or disability can be found in speaking listening reading writing spelling reason and information so these types of learning disabilities we find in the classroom among the students but if we are not enough capable to identify these types of learning disorders means our classroom will be affected so being a teacher being an active teacher it is first of all our duty to identify these types of learning disorders Now suppose that the students who are having a speaking disorder they will be afraid of speaking and maybe some of the students having listening disorders and whatever the thought is going on in the classroom the students are not able to grasp or listen properly then if they are not able to listen then how will they understand the topic what is going on some of the student may have also reading disorders if you give them a paragraph to read they will be afraid of reading they are having genuinely some problems in reading so first of all we will have to eradicate or it is of those disorders either it may be speaking listening or reading some of the students may have also writing disorders they are afraid of writing whenever you will give them anything related to writing person they will not be interested in the classroom why they are having writing disorder spelling disorder is also crucial and it is most importantly affecting our academic work means if the students are not able to pronounce the word properly spell the word properly then how will they understand and the person who is in front of the student either the student both of them will suffer from this reason and recognize information if they are having these types of disorders means whatever is going on in the classroom they will not able to understand it properly that is why first of all we must have a little bit information that these types of disorders may be found among the students in a classroom and we always try to erase out these types of disorders so now in a detailed manner we will have information about this how these types of disorders affecting our classroom and how can we solve out the problems related to this one so let's move to the next slide and see here here is a short synopsis regarding 
types of learning disabilities that we find and these are the disabilities suggested by the psychologist and these are experiential and it is experientially found in the class and many means uh, resources have been established on these types of disorders than we have been suggested now first types of learning disability is dyslexia as you know dyslexia is learning disabilities in reading and these types of disabilities affect the student in reading the paragraph grasping the meaning and they are not able to understand anything and those students who are suffering from dyslexia as you know there are three types of acquisition first of all many types but i will tell about three learning reading and writing reading writing then learning if the students are not able to read and write then how will they understand anything so first of all dyslexia should be erased out among the students and this can be happened by providing them appropriate remedial i mean to say solution how to solve out this so we will also have another one is dyscalculia dyscalculia is problem with arithmetic and math concept you might have found the math teachers especially in the class many of the students they are not interested in learning mathematics and they are not taking interest why they are not means uh, being connected with the class if they are not being connected with the class what are we going on in the class regarding math means they are having dyscalculia and dyscalculia is totally related to calculation and calculation we have in the mathematic class okay so let the so learning disabilities in math vary generally depending on the child's or others strength and weakness means this is a kind of weakness among the children a child ability to do math will be affected differently by language learning disabilities or a visual disorder or a difficulty with sequencing memory or memorization means uh, in mathematic class you cannot suggest to memorize anything there is the concept and the students will have to understand the topic according to concept you cannot suggest them to mem memorize if they are having this calculia means they will not understand what is going on in the class a child with a math based learning disorder may struggle with memorization and organization if the child is having dyscalculia means they will try to memorize it while they will go to memorize means they will suffer in the class because there are so many sums in the exercise or the chapter the topic that is going on all things they cannot memorize no they will have to means uh, graphs or conduct a uh, concept regarding that one and this can be happen only if you remove the dyscalculia disorder students so children with math learning disorders might also have trouble with counting principles in junior classes students suffering from counting disorder if they are having counting disorders means they are suffering from dyscalculia and here being a teacher you will have to give them solution or brainstorming brainstorming is a kind of additional help given by the teacher in the classroom so you will have to supply a proper remedial solution of this dyscalculia this is very uh, big vital problem problem that we uh, oftenly find in the classroom so i hope this uh, next time you will apply this one in the classroom and it will be better for you to make your class interactive the next one is dysgraphia so dysgraphia means uh, learning disabilities in writing so writing disorder is also very big task in the classroom and uh, we teachers have to erase this problem among the students and how can we 
dysgraphia can be so learning disabilities in writing can involve the physical act of writing or the mental activity of comprehending the synthesizing the information dysgraphia having means uh, the students are not having ability to write anything they are afraid of it if you give they any types of task relating to writing person they will be scared of it they will not show their interest in it means whenever you are putting any types of task related to writing and the students are not taking interest on it means you must understand there this student having dysgraphia writing disorder the basic writing disorders refers to physical difficulty maybe some of the students having physical difficulty that's why they are not being interested in writing portion the words and letters they have also problem to understand words write the words in proper way letters in proper way arranging the sentence in proper way this types of problem may be related to dysgraphia expressive writing disability indicates a struggle to organize thought on paper suppose that you have given a paragraph writing in class 8 or 9th students if they are not having means their inert ability to think and make a perception i mean to say uh, means um, mental map if they are having means uh, unskilled in mental map that means they are not able to means uh, uh, analyze about the topic whatever he or she is going to write so here it is the problem related to dysgraphia the symptoms of written language learning disability revolves around the act of writing they include problems with neatness and consistency of writing means those students who are suffering from dysgraphia their writing will be not neat and clean their writing will be dirty they are not having skilled in arranging the words writing the alphabets in proper way means they are suffering from this types of problem one means of further more problems are there first of all neatness and consistency of writing they will means uh, not write in the proper way accuracy copying the letters and words suppose that you have written something on the blackboard and those the students suffering from dysgraphia especially in the junior classes they will not be able to means copy as it is whatever is written on the blackboard you might have faced these types of problem recall it means and understand here and this is related to dysgraphia spelling consistency while they are writing anything they forget the spelling means they are not able to write the uh, word properly anything suppose that you are dictate thing a student apple they have written a double p and uh, further more words they have forgotten means they are having dysgraphia they are not able to recall they are forgetting it and this is called dysgraphia writing on organization and comprehends means comprehension problem is also there and uh, means uh, we can also say this is related to dyslexia reading and writing they are means uh, coordinated to each other now i hope this one you have also understood and if you are able to find out this types of learning disabilities among the students means you can give them proper remedies and if you are able to give them remedies means you can make your class interesting next one is dyspraxia and dyspraxia is related to sensory integration disorders and this uh, dyspraxia learning disabilities in motor skill as you know there are two types of skill motor fine motor and gross motor so first of all gross motor develops among the students then fine motor gross motor is means related to their body parts their activities and fine motor means if a student is uh, writing on the copy means fine motor is there involving small parts of the body finger is they are using finger this is sometimes if a student is um, types of activity there means uh, gross motor skill is involved the student having this dyspraxia may be more difficult fully refers to problems with movement and coordination whether it is with fine motor skill 
i mean to say fine motor skill uh, includes cutting writing and gross motor skill running and jumping suppose that a uh, means a craft activity is going on in the classroom uh, means a teacher enter in the class and uh, there is means a hobby class is going on or additional classes related to means uh, the teacher has given a work of designing or drawing so what is going on here here motor skill is means a fine motor skill is involved is cutting writing drawing making something craft work is going on so these students will not interested in these types of activities who are having dyspraxia the so dyspraxia is related to sensory integration order a motor disability sometimes refers to as an output activity meaning that it relates to the output of information from the brain and it is totally connected with our brain sensory work is totally related to brain according to jean piaget jean piaget was a swedish psychologist who has given cognitive development theory and cognition means related to thinking and which is totally connected to brain and those students means having dyspraxia is have, uh, suffering from means uh, brain means it is related to brain problems with motor coordination another order to run jump right or cut something the brain must be able to communicate with the necessary symbols to complete the action if your brain is not totally involved there means whatever the activity the student has been suggested means they will not show their interest in it the means here the student is suffering from uh, means uh, sensory integration disorder which we call dyspraxia i hope you have understood this one also and next one is central auditory processing disorder difficulty protecting and remembering language related tasks learning disability in language is called apraxia or dysphasia you can write it uh, apraxia or dysphasia this is called learning disabilities in language means students are not interested in language related work the language and communication are very essential in communication process if your language is not in proper way means you are not able to communicate with someone then how can you express your opinion and if teaching is going on in the classroom the language i mean to say has here a very crucial role if the language problem is there means your connectivity will be disrupted and you will not be able to convey the message whatever you are means are willing to convey the students the so language and communication relating disability involve the ability to understand or produce spoken language language is also consider an output activity because it requires recognizing thoughts in the brain means suppose that while you are communicating with someone else means thought means brain is working there he is providing he is analyzing record recognizing and synthesizing means then you are able to express your opinion the so brain and calling upon the right words to vocabulary spelling some things or communicate communicate with someone else the so brain is very much means importantly involved here so now you have understood this is called apraxia or this phasia and this is related to language problem the next disorder is non verbal learning disorder the so non verbal learning disorder troubles with non verbal call example body language poor coordination clumsy means body language is also very important suppose that you have selected a student for something uh, module presentation if the body language of that particular student is not proper means he will not be able to conduct the tasks that you have decided to select for him so body language is also very important and those students who are suffering from this type of disorder non verbal learning disorder this is called non verbal learning disorder and next uh, disorder is visual perceptual vision motor defect 
this is reverse letter cannot copy accurately reversing in letter reversing letter problem means whatever once they have means the thought in mind they will always keep the same perceptions they are not able to reverse it cannot copy accurately copying problem is there so these are few of the uh, disabilities suggested by psychologists that we always find among the students in the classroom if we are able to means raise out these types of problem among the students means you can make your class very peaceful and interesting or interactive class next uh, one is left here uh, we should also take this one language disorders aphasia already i have completed this one so moving to the slide and this is suspected etiologies of learning disabilities what may be the cause for these types of disabilities that we find among the students so means initially we should take two point heredity and environment these two may be the crucial disorders uh, means a causing element no real causes one may be might be caused by heredity or teratogenic cause what is teratogenic cause a teratogenic cause is an actual agent that can disrupt the development of embryo and fetus i mean to say birth defect means many child born with birth defect these types of disorders can be found since their birth and some of them may have suffering from this their heredity problem and one is medical medical defect medical defect can be also if they are means uh, wrongly medicated means they can also have these types of disorders and something we have from environment also so these are the causes that affect our means learning activities and these types of disorder this i mean to say these types of disorders are caused by this heredity or evolution uh, means environment and one is terogenetic and medical i hope you have understood this one these are the sources of from where these types of disorders are caused among the students moving to the next slide so next one is assessment process and tools how means uh, how can you diagnose these types of problem found in the among so some remedies are also suggested and you will have to practically involve the student practical involvement is very important and you will have to recognize them it means that you are suffering this type and these are the remedies for you and types of assessment one is informal assessment and another one is formal psycho educational assessment so learning disabilities testing for learning disabilities usually involves three primarily types of assessment testing of intellectual or cognitive potential and next one is testing of uh, information processing or sensory motor abilities that are indicative of learning disabilities and next one is assessment for current educational achievement this is very important see what is your current educational achievement and one thing we always forget in the classroom connecting with the student with the previous knowledge means suppose that whatever you are teaching the students if you are not able to connect with the previous knowledge and you are means only teaching and teaching in the class they are not getting suppose that uh, that we in other word called basic concept if the students are have not having basic concept regarding any topic means whatever you are teaching in the class it is totally waste of time because they are not suppose that a, a student is not knowing uh, 1 to 100 how to write if you are giving them to means a plus a minus and divide in the classroom how can they do this so basic concept must be clear and these types of thing is also related to learning disorders and this these are the ways through which we can give them remedies so first of all we will hold also have to connect their previous knowledge so now let's understand what is informal assessment informal assessment means such a classroom assessment anything going in the classroom that is informal assessment systematic observation 
and systematic observation means a problem that is faced by the student you should have to identify inside the classroom being a teacher and how can you identify the problem you will have to have a consistent systematic observation of the student if you are not observing the students means there is lacking in the identification of the disorder faced by the students okay and this can be done in the classroom only maybe outside also but most uh, most of the time you are in the classroom and you are associated with the students there only so you can uh, means uh, very easily find out these types of disorders that, that we have already discussed dyslexia dyscalculia dysgraphia dyspraxia aphasia or auditory processing disorder visual processing disorders these types of disorders can be found among the students in the classroom and this is the very important task for the teachers to identify okay now file review and interviews now you will have to take a interview of the students why they are suffering from these types and you can suggest some remedies for the students next these are uh, as important as administering formal instrument to determine levels of academic skill for development and identify of strength and weakness in learning process by doing so you are able to identify strength and weakness of learning process why your learning process is not so effective where is the lack where is the gap among the students and teacher by the teacher side it is going on very perfectly but the students are not able to means there is some means a learning disorders among the students that's why it is not getting so strength means as should as you have desired so you will have to find out the disorders where it is and you will have to provide a special remedies for it because it is so important to intervene as <clears throat> important as teachers should not wait for the formal assessment to occur before they put strategies in place means you will have to take quick assessment means you cannot plan you cannot means a delay it for anything you will have to make a sudden plan for this and uh, as soon as you find these types of disorder among the students assessment to identify a learning disability should integrate information from a number of sources including the means if the students are suffering from these types of disorders you can find this types of disorders information from number of sources so these may sources may be family you connect with the student family maybe teachers who are very much friendly or connected with those students you can also have some information for this those teachers also counselors if involved if it is involved means this very personality is involved in this activity then you can also have some information from counselors otherwise you can take from family and teacher learning assistance or other records and any relevant medical report also means a student is suffering from any medical problem means if you are not aware of this means you can connect to the family and you can have the relevant uh, means evidence regarding them and then you can properly plan for the remedies for the students next one is once a student has been referred for the formal assessment a teacher or principal will need to obtain parent permission and assistance for the students and their parents in understanding what will occur during the formal assessment process so means you can also connect with the principal parents and take the permission means without the permission means you cannot take i means uh, give them remedy or solution to this problems so authorities related to this you will have to take permission assessment for reading now identification of alphabets and know, knowing the sounds of letter already we have already discussed this points above so now i i want to say ki this session is totally regarding the uh, disorders found among the students that affect our academic session either it is scholastic or scholastic so if we teachers are able to find out this types of problems and give them proper uh, remedy regarding this problems means uh, 
these types of problems can be solved if these types of problems are able to solve in the classroom or outside the classroom means we can make our learning and acquisition process proper i hope due to short time uh, i will have to conclude my topic here i hope you have understood the session properly and uh, if you apply these types of things in your classroom it will be very effective for you so thank you have a nice day